Hello guys, as requested from a viewer, I will be showing you three different builds you can use ML Selene with in Emperor Arena. ML Selene is a very unique ML5 who can sustain and cleanse herself without needing anyone. Her passive allows her to not get one shot by a single attack, and that makes her survive straight up one shots, however this passive doesn't save her from fixed or extra damage, like Rimuru or ML Chu for example. She also has a unique S1 that can counter attack with it when she is hit by a crit attack, and before she counter, she will cleanse a debuff on her first, which is why she is insanely good. Her S3 is AoE revive and gives immortality and also cleanse all debuffs on her. Building ML Selene can be very hard because she requires a lot of stats on everything. I have three builds for you starting with regular Nuker. For this build you can go with Torrents and Penetration set, Destruction or Attack set. For Artifact, I like to use Dust Devil because it gives her a chance to S1 again, hits super hard. Keep in mind, ML Selene doesn't want any HP substats on her, because her passive allows her to only take damage up to 51% of her max HP. So the reason why you need Selene with super low health is so she can recover back to full HP easily when she counters. So having high HP on her will reduce her chances to survive by a lot, especially against tanks that have high defense, because her S1 won't deal as much damage, therefore she won't recover a lot of health. It's also great to use her against injury units that can reduce her max HP even further. Now let me show you first how this build in action. Second build, we have a fast ML Selene with decent damage stats. For this one, I would recommend 260 speed or more with at least 3.2k attack and 260% crit damage or more with penetration set. This build can also be used in Emperor Arena if used correctly. So let me show you this build in action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> MD, JPB. It's only right, baby. Yeah, why you mad? I got a bag, bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. 
You know that I run it Everything you wanna do, I already done it And I got your little boo telling me she love me I got this one, that one, damn it's gonna be a long night That I run it. I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night.
the gut Never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now for our last build, we have Lifesteal and Penetration set, and this one is the hardest to pull because she requires high speed with high damage stats. For this build, I recommend having at least 220 speed, 3.2k attack, and 260% crit damage or more. Lifesteal build is actually great on her in some situations, and best part about it will be her massive heals, because they stack with her S1 heals as well, so you will always guarantee her back to full HP easily. Now let me show you this build in action. I hope you enjoy the video. And please don't forget to like and comment what you want to see next. Never said that I was perfect, but I'm willing to try Let me show you what I made